Hello guys, gals, sirs and ladies, ladies, anyone who has come into the stream today. I'm Jeff the Narrator, and this will be the beginning of a Assassin's Creed marathon in celebration of the, I believe it's the 25th anniversary this year. So we'll be, <laughs> so we'll be beginning with the first and original, a lot of people think the best, Assassin's Creed. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to see how the audio was, if you can hear me okay. Try to mess around with the settings real quick. Okay, test, test, can you hear me? Well, we'll hope that you can. Yes, the save game does already exist. I am going to override it and get doing it for the stream. Absolutely. Now, during most cutscenes, I might not speak unless it's not very important, in case anybody hasn't played the game before. I have tried my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Mr. Moon. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Mr. Moon. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me! You strapped me into that thing! Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Don't give us much of a choice, do they? A wise decision. Aggressive the audio is, or oh. the man? Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the... Does the audio sound the okay? Event, specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. Good I deal, discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Ah! Every good journey begins with a tutorial. I remember my tutorial. Press A to cry. Warning. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 7. Ah, yes, the nostalgia. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus' control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus Sounds utilizes good. a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. <laughs> I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Fascinating. While standing still, Use the head button to observe your environment. Ah, yes. Look around and notice oh, more people. You can use your 
empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh, yes. These people went to the Legend of Zelda School of Carrying Pots on their heads. Whew. Well done. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Easy. But I thought that I'd take this moment to take a little bit of time and kind of explain what I'm wanting to do with this little streaming series. Um, this is, like I said, the 25th anniversary of the series. <laughs> And, um, I feel like it'd be really good to kind of go back to basics and see how will allow you to sprint. the series has changed. It's useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to... But if, uh, anyone, if anyone has any suggestions for something to stream, While I'm absolutely open to the anything. before this man does. Well done. I thought for a second he was going to get me. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Couldn't be me. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. Oh, absolutely. Aggressive FJ. actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. You think you can lose me? Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Oh no. Good. Your social status <laughs> indicates that you are hidden. But the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. That's right. You do well to hide. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Excellent. Absolutely. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places That's... which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first and then use a hide spot to vanish. Yeah. 
if this was IRL, one of those would be a bathroom Let stall. Let's continue with the demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Ah, uh, yes. To reach the marker behind the soldiers. I am a scholar with my scholarly longsword, armored leather bracers. Yes, I am a scholar. Don't you know? Praise be. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle. Oh, we have another viewer. Welcome, welcome. Ancestor understand the intention. Feel free to uh, around him. Throw something down in the chat. Uh, I, I keep an eye on it as best I can. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please that is true. Please that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestors' way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. You have successfully uh, yes, completed the tutorial. The, the most stable memory block will now be loaded. Good. Yeah, following the creed. Sounds good. Wait, Don't hurt the innocent. One. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. The treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. The absolute sass from everyone in this corridor. Except for you, buddy. All right, let's begin. There we go. I love that sound, though. Absolutely. There. That must be the ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. I'm sure this won't go bad at all. After all, I am Altair, Ibn Lahad. I don't need to be humbled in any way. It'll go great. Like the first day of school. 
Hold, Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. No! You know not the things at which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. <laughs> Be for everyone. Absolutely. Oh. That's a shame. Yeah, those two. Those two are done. Multiple ways to get to your objective. Walling. Some of the most, um... Solid climbing in the series, I think, came from the original game. Because the faster it gets, I think, the momentum. It's not always consistent, but I always felt that the climbing in the first Assassin's Creed was very solid. Altair, you've returned. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master Never. in his tower? Yes, yes. Uh, buried in his books, as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace out there. On you as well. Welcome to Masiaf. Yeah, the first game takes place during, I believe it's the Third Crusade, in the 1100s. This particular branch of the Brotherhood, I believe, is referenced as the Levantine Brotherhood. Modern day Syria, maybe? I'm not entirely sure where the Levantine is, if I'm being honest. But, Masiaf Village and the castle has always been just iconic. But I'm sure that we can pick up the pace. You better not cause any trouble. Seems to be in a rush. Well, why ask you? Did you see that? Hmm. Hmm. Kind of not very subtle for a temple or a cult full of assassins. But we are not to judge. Oh, yeah, low-key. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, have you uh, ever played any of the Assassin's Creed's? Gotten very far? Ah. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are low to you? share the glory. Nice. Thy yeah, I'm a just huge another fan. Form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll see him again in another game. Hint, hint. 
Oh, Altair is the... He may be a master assassin, but he's a master sass assassin. Iconic. All right. It is an honor. You're right. It is. Thank you. Sorry, just getting into character. <laughs> you better slap that knee. That was hilarious. I give up Twitch now that I've just begun and pick up comedy. Because <laughs> I got all the jokes. <laughs> Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert, escape. Hello, welcome. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master! We are under attack! Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village! So he seeks a battle. Very well. I will not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast to a more recent one. Oh, absolutely. E echoing. Hardcore. But I mean, he, he, he did lose his brother to my arrogance. Can't wait to save the day only for tragedy to strike. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templar. Of course. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. All right, let's get to business. I see that we've got four of you all watching. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I'm uh, very, very new to Twitch. Um, a following or a subscribe, however they do it here, would be very much appreciated. Oh yeah. Get him! Get him! Ah. Ah. I'll get you! 
He about got me. I'm not going to lie. Always the heart attacks to get me. Oh, I see. Oh, I know. This is what we get for spreading Christianity. These poor people. I tried. The sword underneath the armpit. That, that always gets me. Get him. I know there's a way that I can throw some. Oh. Oh, wow. A lot, of, a lot of white people. Atayer, come. Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. <laughs> I remember this part. Very smart of Al Mualim to do this. Can you see it? I've never looked out on the... Oh. Yes, we're not going to look out on the balcony. <laughs> God save him. He's gone mad. I have gone mad, yes, brother. Stand on that platform, Atayir. All right. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Ah. Uh. Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have that no guy on the end. Looks like a noob. Go to God. Stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Of course. Let's be honest, they weren't very gonna be very helpful anyway, were they? In the moment, which moment was that? Did I miss something? Huh. 
Oh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, it's it's a very iconic part of the game. They they do a reference in Revelations. Um, and the last bit of the Ezio trilogy is fantastic. This game, though, just had so much flair. Very unique aesthetic, too. Meh. You did You'll love to see it. Robert from here. His force is broken. I sure did. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are Snitch. you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, Ooh. as I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I'm sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. First, so many stabbings. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Ah, back. Back in the sack. Back in the saddle. Oh, poor Desmond. I think this would be an appropriate time to take a look at the chat. Oh, Altair, good to see you again, bro. It's totally a different person. Let's take a look. Oh, the smack, absolutely. I agree. How would someone know if they indirectly compromised the Brotherhood? Well, so something probably very direct would be, you know... Attempting to assassinate a high-ranking Templar and then leading them back to the um, the castle indirectly might be um, I don't know getting involved with somebody that's not of the Brotherhood and then letting them know that the Brotherhood exists. That would probably be an indirect violation, you know, even if they had no business. Um, Yes, back in the sack and the saddle. Back in the hoodie. Uh, 
always thought this hoodie was iconic. Though they change it in the in Brotherhood and Revelations, make it much more eagle-like. I like it. But yeah, I guess that there are some ways to indirectly betray the creed. But I, I, I do understand what you mean. Let's see what they're talking about. Bathroom gossip. These are the foundations of a great game, Warren. Dr. Vidic himself. Man, I can't even change my clothes. <laughs> oh, I love Desmond. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. I mean, really, I wonder what either of them would really do if Desmond tried to do something. Huh. Now, there are several um, optional conversations you can have with uh, Lucy. I think that this may be one of them. Yeah. So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, if I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. It gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, originally playing through the game, I thought that, um... Yeah, more to say. I got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they oh, find wow. me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? <laughs> It's no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo, fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. I guess that's that then. Is, is it? Yeah, that's it. Aren't you tired? Okay. But yeah, if you look at the original Animus, look at all of the processing power this thing needs. It's not just a table. It goes down a good, what, That's that's got to be 14 feet total from the very bottom of this capsule uh, to where you sit down. Um, that's so much processing power, especially if you consider, you know, sci-fi-ness. Of everything. I mean, these are servers in all f 
back corners of the building. All that probably feeds into the animus. I mean, the fact that in the second game they're able to make it portable, almost, just outstanding. Damn it, they locked the door. Yeah, Desmond. The super evil company locked the door. Alright. Back in the sack. Back in the saddle. Now I'm hitting the hay. Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education, re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess, you've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. <laughs> telling. I think this is supposed to be... in Italy, really. Maybe not. I had heard that it was uh, actually France or maybe uh, Canada. It wouldn't. It would make so much sense if it's in New York, though. I guess it could be anywhere, majorly in the world. I need you to sit down on the animus. Makes sense. Does that curve? Man, that would be really weird to lay on. Oh, your feet are elevated. Oh, I lost one of you. Start your memory already. All right. Checking the chat, Vidic. When you are exposed, Tag on. use sharp turns or climb over the I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember Altair? What it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your positions, your rank as well. You are a novice, a child once more, as you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. 
So you'd have me take a life? No, not yet at least. For now you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable, one of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, no, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Four hit points. Oh, that hurts. And there go the weapons and the abilities. Oh. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. Very interesting that they had the, uh, the player do it like this. Uh, having a very experienced character yet, <clears throat> you have to... Oh, I am so sorry. Though you... Uh, revert the character, the, the player, back to the basics, essentially. What is he I can remember how to play this game. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the Weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. I need the basket. We can do that. He's going to hurt himself. Please, just 
just won. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? W what letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. upon the threshold between this world and a new one a better place where all might live as equals but men like al mualim would see this dream destroyed two days attack was but the first and more will follow unless you repent give up your wicked ways rise up against the madman of masyaf see through his lies that's a brave man right there Brave or foolish? Nice. Okay. Enough. I yield. I yield. Speak quickly then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused. Sorry, there's not a lot of commentation. And opening the way for our enemy. Dialogue heavy. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers, 
Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. I didn't save this earlier, but it's very funny about how the original voice actor for Altair is just this obviously white fellow, and everyone else is probably, oh, I'll at least say it like this, they're more accurate to the region. Uh, I bet this man's students don't know the way of the blade. Not like I. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Try stay you still in here? As long as you understand. I'm not doing very well with the, uh, the crowd, am I?
when you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way. Ah, yes, the kingdom. First viewpoint. Yourself. Good deal. Well, I think that I'll take this moment to go get a drink of water. I will be right back. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I'm back. <laughs> All right. I bet we can hit some viewpoints on the way to Damascus. Now, this run will also not be a completionist run. Um, if I see a flag or a Templar, I'll go ahead and take care of that. But um, I'm not going to extend the stream series by, uh, by filling it with that. Um, later on in the Ezio trilogy, I may strive for 100% completion. But I'm not going to... Oh, nice. I'm not going to... Um, the content. Unless, you know, that's something that you all would be interested in. Uh, definitely dr drop a, uh, a comment. Anything like that. But, I think that all the synchronizations, full health, stuff like that, all of the missions in the first game, I think that's more than fair.
the original session uh, was supposed to be scheduled for um, 8 to 11, so about a three-hour stream. Um, if that proves to be a little bit lengthy for this, uh, just let me know. Uh, I don't mind at all. But we're about a minute, a uh, minute, yeah. We're about an hour and 14 minutes in right now, an hour and 15. Um, so definitely let me know uh, the length of the streams that you, that you all watch that you all don't mind to uh, be a part of and then we can kind of scale it like that Ooh. oh like I said I just ran into this one Ah, yes. Never fear. I know how to ride a horse, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that almost ended in disaster. Alright, Damascus. When you are exposed, use sharp turns or climb over the Oh. 
destiny. again anytime soon either you've done me a kindness young man be assured i won't forget it these are dark days indeed Ingenious, but very slow. I have everything you'll ever need. You are wise, which is why you've come to me. So what we'll probably do uh, for today's stream is at least connect with the local Assassin's Bureau, get permission to attack our target, and probably free all of the people and do all the optional investigations in this area. That'll probably bring us into around 11 o'clock anyway. So, let's get to work. The poor district. All right. Well, we will begin there. Oh wow! That's not Praise God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. Thank you. Ah, yes. Hooligans.
Tayer, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for. I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the Souk district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small Souk northeast of here, the Madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of the Spiro. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done? Yes. Come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayer. If you find yourself in trouble, and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. He is learning. The investigation can begin. You're hurting me. Thief! You are filth! Won't anyone help me? You dirty thief! I'll have your hand for that! Stop it, please! You're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it! Means that's the next viewpoint. So Samir gave the man his food, and when the battle was finished, 
The Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a See? thousand you times. Soon, they would surely be spoiled. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. Samir drove a caravan in those days between Damascus and Jerusalem. But recent business had been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Right. Vegetables from nearby farms. There we are. Yeah, the uh, the, the heralds in this game are much more contextually correct. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life, but fate intended otherwise. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. I don't know you. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't know you either. Why don't you keep on walking? to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salaheddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. My boy Altair is ruthless. and they would have made off with me. Oh, we can't have that. Good lady. I 
Yes. Understand. Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Yeah, the assassination memory may be ready, but we are not prepared. cut the stream at uh, 10 o'clock instead of 11. I kind of had a long day at work myself, um, and I don't want to, uh, well, the last thing I would ever want to do is to doze during a stream. Uh, so we'll go around that. And besides, we'll have the entire session next time to finish the rest of the investigation missions in the full district. Some of my wit. All right. 
Let's take it. Let me show you everything I have. What is he doing? Floor too low. There we are. What's wrong? Oh, they're harassing more oh, people. Who? Yeah, the um, I, had, I had talked all about you know talking about the history behind the games and everything like that in my test stream, and here I am, an hour and forty three minutes in, and we haven't really talked about it. Uh, so, if you were unaware, the first Assassin's Creed game does take place during the Third Crusade. I believe I had said that at least today. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> and um, this is uh, famously the crusade where um, the, the very famous Salah Hadin and King Richard the Lionhearted would battle over the control of the Holy Land, Holy Lands, which would be, you know, uh, specifically in this game, uh, Accra, Damas, or Damascus, and Jerusalem. Um, needlessly, it was a religious crusade where atrocities would happen on both sides. Um, it is, unfortunately, one of those time periods in history where there were no good answers. I mean, there were several times in which knights would be told that their sins would be absolved if they would come and kill infidels or, you know, the Muslim people. Not really... Not really the best kind of a rallying cry, but for this kind of a world, it did 
appeal. Um, another film that captures this time period really well is The Kingdom of Heaven with Orlando Bloom and Liam Neeson. If you've never seen it, it's a fantastic film. This won't be too difficult. <laughs> 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 Long when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. I owe you my freedom, stranger. Over here! Oh no. only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. Interesting. God Almighty. And that'll be mine. Good, good, good. Yes, yeah, so something else about this game is that with every investigation, you did uh, learn more and more about the specific target and the assassination opportunity. Um, for example, you just acquired a map of a... Let's see. There we are. So. We'll view this attachment. That was from the other. Tamir has little faith in the men who work for him. He oversees their work himself. I will turn this to my advantage. He'll be too preoccupied to notice my approach. And then as we just learned... That is a good infiltration area. And as we continue to do our investigation into this black market dealer, um, there will be more information that can, becomes more readily available to us. Praise God, you've saved me. 
saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. Oh no, Thank you. I'll help in any way I can. Finally, me. For what we believe in, there is no greater glory than this. Where are you? They go against the will of God and must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Where are you? Ignorance. I know you're here somewhere. Violence? Madness. We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. In any way we can. Sure. He's called another meeting. What is it this time? Another warning? Another execution? No. He has work for us to do. Which means we won't be paid. He's abandoned the ways of the merchant guild. Does as he pleases now. He treats us as if we were his servants, and the guard does nothing to stop him. Enough! We must go. If we're late, he'll be angry, and we'll suffer for it. Perhaps one day, someone will have the courage to stand up to him. Perhaps. But until that day arrives, we should do as told. Let's try this again. This time with confidence. And looking for the correct way of, uh, Oh, I forgot. They took my gloves. I can no longer grab the edge. I was cheating, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I still am. My lord. I didn't think that I'd drink anything tonight. Yeah, your first thing sinks usually the right one. Ooh, big tower. We've not done one of these. Good. So how do those? Infinite! You will die here! Oh, that's...
are still in my presence. I decided to reduce that will cost everything. you your life. Why are you doing this Come. to me? I've done nothing wrong. I don't my good people, your search is coming to an end. Give something to say. Let me go. You need something? You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. Make sure. Please. Doha Alay. Death to the infidels. Uh. 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 Okay, draw your sword, Altair. We can get through this. I will end your life. I'll have your hands for that! Help me! Somebody help me! You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Five minutes till ten. It's not too bad. Uh, let's see. One more viewpoint, and then maybe that eavesdrop. That should be good. When will he stop acting like a fool? Then when we start the stream again on Friday. I'll finish up in Damascus and we can continue on in the story. I think I might limit the streams to an hour or maybe two hours long. Um, just for ease. I think that three may have been a bit ambitious. Well, um, I hope that everybody has enjoyed the stream thus far. Um, I know that there wasn't too, too big on commentated content, but... I am still uh, getting used to it, still learning. I'm um, going to be saving up for a video camera. Uh, hopefully, uh, seeing my face will make it a little bit more personal. Sorry about that. Yeah, we'll do the same drop and then we'll stream for the day. 
Hello, citizens. Yes, yes, I am a slightly ridiculous individual. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise. Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Alrighty. Well, with that being said, I thank everyone for tuning in today. Um, hopefully, this was entertaining and you had a good time. I uh, invite your friends. Um, I'll change the schedule to better reflect the, the actual streaming times. Uh, we'll be back on, not tomorrow, but Friday at 8 o'clock until, let's say, about 10. I, f I feel like that's a very good time. Um, as they uh, kind of let me know earlier, if you're not following me on Twitch, please give me a follow. My handle is Jeff the Narrator 469. And you can find me on Twitter and Facebook under Jeff the Narrator. And my motto is to keep telling stories. So, in all the stories that you're telling people, whether they be stories in your life or you, sir. You look like you something. You'll find it here. Keep telling stories.